Hi everyone, this is a message to my fellow anti-BDS activists. All of us are doing our best to fight this terrible rhetoric against Zionism and so forth. Unfortunately, our successes are not that great. The fact is, anti-Semitism on college campuses has risen 40% in the last year. I myself have produced two apps. One is called Fight BDS and the other one is called BDS Mythbusters. Now sponsored by the wonderful actress Roseanne Barr. But unfortunately, BDS is growing and anti-Semitism is growing. So we have to change our strategies. First of all, let's get this on the table so people understand. The American Jewish community has been separating itself from Israel since 1982, since the Lebanon War. I remember very, very well because I lived it, I saw it, I was here. Once the planes, the Israeli planes flew over Beirut, things changed. And NBC and CBS and all these news affiliates began to take advantage of the terrible things they saw and how they twisted the news and so forth. And unfortunately, the Israeli government at that time did not take advantage or understand the, the power of PR, propaganda, and so forth. And the other side, the Arab side, did. Well, when people say, let's make things about pro-Zionism and so forth, they're missing the point. It's like someone, is going to, like someone goes to a matchmaker, and the matchmaker points out all the wonderful, wonderful things about the particular candidate, except the thing that stands out the most that bothers the person, whatever that may be. Well, what bothers people is not Zionism. What bothers people is about the perception about the Arab community in Israel or the Arabs in Judea and Samaria and so forth. That's what bothers people. So what we have to do, instead of saying how beautiful Zionism is and what a wonderful thing that we're indigenous to the land and self-determinism, which is all wonderful and great, but it misses the point. It's not the strategy or the tactics we need to use. What we have to show is how the Arabs in Israel have equal rights and freedoms and civil rights and so forth. Interview Arabs, talk to the Arabs, get them to make videos. And the same token, we have to show the reasons and what's happening in the West Bank, in Judea and Samaria and so forth, and show the real good parts that we're trying to do for them. And also the abuses they themselves are doing to themselves and why there has been no peace for almost a hundred years. We have to focus on that. That's the problem. Not about self-determinism and not about Zionism. It's about what to do and how to solve the, the bad PR when it comes to the Arab situation. Hey, put it this way. If you were to see someone with a gun and a uniform and someone who looks like a peasant or a person who's pure, or I'm sorry, poor person who's poor, who are you gonna choose as the victim? Of course the person who is poor and defenseless, quote unquote, right? So already we're, losing a, we're on the losing side already. The fact that we have the strong Israeli army and we have, this, we have a strong state and so forth, already we've lost the battle from that part of, of image, PR image. So we've got to twist it around and make the battle of why the Arabs are the ones who are doing all the bad stuff, not us.